possible clues in the search for remains of homicide victims in Macomb Township. Investigators found clothes in the search for potential victims connected to convicted killer Arthur Ream. Police spent much of this week digging in multiple locations. Police don't know if the clothes have any connection to the cases. Additional excavations are planned for next week. Tonight we're getting to hear from frightened drivers who police say witnessed this woman driving drunk through the construction zone of I-75. We first told you about Stacy Foote earlier this week at 11. She keeps rubbing the wall, the front of the car's all fricked up. Now she like really hit the wall. You guys gotta hurry up or she's gonna, yep, she's gonna go over this wall. Like the entire tire, the entire wheel's gone? Yeah, but the whole, yeah, the whole tire just rolled off her car. Now she's rubbing the center wall. That 911 caller was on the phone with Troy police for more than 10 minutes. Following along, his foot allegedly crashed into the median six times on northbound 75 near Big Beaver last week. When foot crashed, the 911 caller got out to keep her from running off. How much you have to drink? No. No? You don't have anything to drink? No. Get me out of here. Foot is from Flint. Police found an open bottle of alcohol on the floor of her car and says she blew more than double the legal limit. She is facing drunk driving charges, as you'd well expect. TSA officers intercepted three guns just in one day at Detroit Metro Airport this week. Agents found all three handguns passing through x-ray machines on carry-on luggage. Yesterday, one of the weapons was loaded. So far, TSA officials have confiscated 27 firearms this year at Metro Airport. Passengers are only allowed to travel with unloaded firearms in checked baggage.